Good morning. It is 6:46 a.m. on Thursday, October 5th, or excuse me, November 5th, 2020. Gee, you'd think I'd remember that. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So, uh, slept last night much better than the previous night. Um, partly because at least with the election, things look a little bit more promising. Um, it's, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, as I record this, things are still being counted. There's not any kind of an official declaration yet. Um, but, uh, you know, stuff's happening. Um, and regardless, uh, yeah, just was able to actually just sleep through the night, which was good. And yeah, so better in that regard. Uh, but uh, no more election talk today. Uh, I'm instead I'm going to talk about the new TV I got. So uh, without getting into the details, I, I I think I mentioned this yesterday. I, honestly, yesterday is a blur. But um, uh, the I so I have a new TV. And uh, it is a nice 4K TV, even though um, I'm not actually sure if I'm capable of even sending anything 4K to it yet. Because um, I have my cable box in my PlayStation 4. I should check my cable box. I'm not sure what that does. But uh, my PlayStation 4, because it's not the PS4 Pro, my understanding is it's not even really capable of actually su submitting 4K. To the TV, um, but I don't, I don't know. Um, but the point is that it's theoretically capable of that, and so like if and when I manage to get a PS5, um, that can do 4K, and so that'll do that. But uh, it's it's better regardless. Like my my old TV was not you know bad. Like there was nothing wrong with it. It was just you know older. So in fact, actually. Oh, it's kind of too dark back there, but like if it wasn't too dark and getting lost in the contrast, actually see that little vertical line right there. That is the edge of the old TV where it is currently uh, awaiting being given to a neighbor. And uh, but so in any case, the new TV does look better, even even regardless of whether it's being given official 4K or whatever. Although, when I was putting on some movies to test it with, I definitely needed to play around with the picture settings because a lot of the modern TVs have all of these really fancy processing things that they do to make one kind of uh, thing or another look really good. And so, um, I found that mine has a filmmaker mode which I believe is the mode that turns on all of the things that filmmakers are generally pleading with people to say is, please don't watch our m movies with the weird motion smoothing on and all of that other weird junk that makes it look like it's a cheap TV show. <laughs> but uh, with the filmmaker mode on, uh, gosh, it looks good. It looks very pretty. And um, I watched a little bit of the master which is a paul thomas anderson movie which i had seen before but i don't know kind of went past me a little bit when i saw it before uh, i'm a big fan of paul thomas anderson as a director but you know i like some of his movies more than others and this one was always a little bit like eh, it was you know it's good i liked it i guess but you know i had recently had it brought back to my attention as something maybe worth another look and certainly when as I've rewatched it I didn't finish it last night but uh, uh, the parts that I rewatched I found a lot more compelling than the first time I'm not sure why but it uh, looks very pretty but the other thing that I was actually thinking about watching it is that uh, the master stars uh, Joaquin Phoenix Amy Adams and Philip Seymour Hoffman and Philip Seymour Hoffman uh, what a tragic loss his death was. Um, it, he was just so good. Like, he was, like, you know, one of my favorite actors. Like, in everything he's ever in, he's just great. Um, and so just watching him in The Master, you know, just made me think about that again. And, you know, it's just, again, it's like, 
like there aren't so many good examples of people lost too soon due to drugs. Bummer. Yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to bring us down here on a Thursday. I'm just maybe instead of uh, reflecting on that element of it, it would just, again, celebrate like how great an actor he was. He just had such an amazing screen presence that was just not not really quite like anybody else. Ah, oh, so good. Anyway, um, I got a new TV and I got to watch a good performance on my new TV. And I'm a little bit future proofed in the TV arena as things get more and more 4k and uh yeah and uh you know things are still being counted but you know i got fingers crossed with the election and we'll uh move on from there and i'll talk to you again tomorrow for five more minutes